Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and today I want to talk to you about some of the exciting new features we've built into our latest VaporX series of cards. This one is the R9-290X. As you may have heard me say before, Sapphire was the first company to use vapor chamber cooling in the graphics card. And in this series of cards, we combined vapor chamber cooling with our successful three fan technology. The vapor chamber is a very thin module which is fitted between the graphics chip and the rest of the cooling solution. What it does is help us to get the heat away from the graphics chip as quickly and efficiently as possible, which is then dissipated by the rest of the cooler. In this solution there are actually five heat pipes of different sizes to make sure the heat's evenly distributed through the rest of the cooler. The centre one is actually an industry leading 10 mm heat pipe. So the final part of the assembly uses three fans like our Tri-X cooler, each of which has aerofoil section blades for maximum efficiency and low noise. The shroud itself has special guides inside to ensure that the airflow is as efficient as possible. Another new feature which we've introduced to the cooler on this series is what we call a PCB heat spreader. The printed circuit board itself is made up of multiple layers of copper and insulators and what we've done is we've left a section of the copper bare here and extended the heat sink to be in direct contact with the copper layer so it takes heat directly out of the PCB itself. So let's take a look at the back of the card. The first thing we notice, it has this strong back plate which provides support to the card and also provides additional cooling to the components on the back side of the printed circuit board. I've talked before about the need to deliver high power to get maximum performance out of graphics cards and this one's no exception. The voltage control circuitry here has been redesigned with a 10 phase power circuit and includes uh, black diamond chokes which are ferrite covered so that they run cool even under high voltage demand. We've been talking about providing the maximum amount of cooling but this little switch here turns on or off something we call intelligent fan control. This means that we can actually have just one of the three fans operating if you're using the card for simple editing or watching a DVD or something like that that's a less demanding application but all three fans will cut in as the load increases and the temperature increases. If you've got a side window in your case we've given you a simple indicator for the temperature that the card's running at. The sapphire logo itself will glow blue at lower temperatures, change to a kind of greeny amber in the mid-range and apparently goes red when it gets really hot but I've never seen one do that. This model is the R9-290X. We also do a very similar model with the R9-290, uh, the main difference being that that one has a slightly lower power demand so only has six phase power circuitry. If you're not looking for quite such extreme performance, take a look at the R9-280X VaporX which shares many of the same family features. My name is Bill Donnelly, thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.